Hi friends, welcome to Krakoo's video series. I'm Saili Kale. I'm one of the co-founders of Krakoo and an alumna of I'm Ahmedabad. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a few difficult CAT, uh, previous CAT questions from the topic of geometry. Geometry requires consistent practice and that, uh, therefore it is important that you keep solving questions. Uh, one of the important sources of uh, questions is your previous year's CAT papers. So in this video series, we will be trying to solve as many difficult previous year's CAT papers, uh, CAT questions as possible so that students know how exactly to solve these questions, what is needed, what they have to prepare to be pre uh, to crack uh, CAT 2019. So let's get started. Let's take a look at one of the questions that came in CAT 2018. From a rectangle ABCD of area 768 square centimeter, a semicircular part with a diameter AB and area 72 by square centimeters is removed. The perimeter of the leftover portion in centimeters is. So let's first draw out this. Uh, this. So you have ABCD like this, and uh, say this is ABCD, and using AB as the diameter, a semicircular part of this is removed. So this would be. Uh, uh, I am assuming this is the diameter, so it, it will be like this. Since the uh, area of the semicircle is much lesser than the area of the rectangle, uh, it won't cross the other side as such. Uh, because uh, this would be something like uh, 3 times, so this is uh, uh, less than 300 essentially. So this will not cross over to the other side. Now this is the configuration, uh, the diameter AB is uh, uh, the area of the remote part semicircle would be, so if the diameter is AB the radius would be AB by 2, uh, the area of the circle with this radius would be pi r square and the area of the semicircle would be pi r square by 2. So what is the area of the remote part, area of the remote part would be pi r square by 2 that is r square is ab by 2 the whole square. So I get pi ab square by this is 4 into 2 so 8 and this is equal to 72 pi cancelling pi from both sides taking 8 over there I get ab square is equal to 24 centimeters. So I got ab square is equal to uh, ab is equal to uh, 24 centimeters. If AB is equal to 24 centimeters and the area of the rectangle is 768 centimeters, what would be BC? AB into BC is equal to 768. So BC is 20, 768 by 24, that is 32 centimeters. So this is 32 centimeters, this is 24 centimeters. So what is the perimeter of the leftover portion? So you have 32 centimeters on this side also, you have 24 centimeters on this side. This part is removed, but in addition to that, you will be getting this part of the semicircle. So, what would be the uh, uh, what would be the uh, perimeter of the new part? So, the new part will be something like this: the semicircular part plus the three sides of the original rectangle. So, let us calculate what would be the uh, perimeter of this part. So, the new perimeter would be 32 plus 24 plus 32 plus the area of the semicircular part, generally the area of the, uh, 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 the this perimeter would be essentially the circumference of the circle. Now since this is a semicircle, instead of 2 pi r, you have 2 pi r by 2 or that is just pi r. r is equal to ab by 2, ab is 24 centimeters, so r would be 12 centimeters. So what is the perimeter of this part? That is uh, pi times 12. So we get 64, uh, 68, 88 plus 12 pi. So the right answer is option C 88 plus 12 pi. So as you could see this was a simple question that required you to first draw out the particular scenario, know what is the formula for some area of semicircle, from that derive what would be one side of the uh, rectangle, use the area of the rectangle formula to find out the other side and then use the perimeter formula to find out the perimeter of the remaining part as such. So this is pretty simple, it just required a lot of uh, intermediate steps and calculations. But if you knew the basics, this would be a pretty simple question for you to solve. So as you can see that uh, this was a very basic question provided you knew the basic formulas that one should know. Now that we know uh, uh, how to handle questions on quadrilaterals from CAT, let's take a question uh, from triangles. So consider the following question, on a triangle ABC, a circle with diameter BC is drawn. 
intersecting AB and AC at points P and Q respectively. If the lengths of AB, AC, CP are 30, 25 and 20 centimeters respectively, then the length of BQ in centimeters is. So, let us draw this particular configuration. So, we have something like this. We have ABC and BC is the diameter. So, let us draw out and it intersects AB and AC at P and Q. So, since it is intersecting, it must be like this. It is intersecting at P and Q respectively. So, this is P. So, if I join PC and PQ of this. Uh, what uh, information about lens is given? I know that uh, um, lens of AB is 30 centimeter, uh, of uh, AC is 25 centimeter, and uh, CP is 20 centimeters. So, uh, one thing that clearly jumps to me is that this is a uh, uh, diameter of the uh, semicircle. So, any co uh, any angle subtended in the diameter would be a 90 degrees angle. So, this should be 90 degrees, this should be 90 degrees. Now, consider the uh, triangle, consider triangle ABC. Now, in triangle ABC, what is the area of ABC? Area of ABC is uh, half into base into height. Now, consider the base to be AB. So, this would be half into AB into the height would be the perpendicular dropped from C. So, that is CP. Similarly, the area of ABC is also equal to half into base into height where base is AC. So, this is half into AC and the other perpendicular is this. So, that is uh, uh, BQ. So, if I equate both these sides, I get half into AB into CP is equal to half into AC into BQ. Now, I had uh, if I use this basic uh, 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 values, I can see that half half I cancel. I know the value of AB, I know the value of AC and I know the value of CP. So, I can easily calculate the value of BQ. So, what would be BQ? BQ would be AB into CP divided by AC. So, this is uh, AB is 30. CP is 20 and uh, uh, AC is 25. So, uh, 6 and 4. So, this is 24 centimeters. So, BQ would be 24 centimeters. So, the answer is 24 centimeters. So, to get to this, how did I get to this? It came with the realization that since a diameter subtends a 90 degree angle at the circumference of the circle, these two angles must be 90 degrees. Once I see that there are two altitudes in the particular diagram, then uh, just seeing those two altitudes suggests to me that I can compare, uh, I have the base, I have the altitude. I have In the other case, I have the other base, but I do not have the altitude for that base. But I, the areas will still remain the same. So, using this concept, they can, I, I can calculate the value of the second altitude. So, always try to draw out and draw, mark out positions such as angles, what is what angles are 90 degrees etc. because they will suggest to you what can be used to solve the given question. So, this is how we solve difficult questions that have involved an intermingling of triangle and circles concepts. In this case, you know, not only needed to have a good hold of uh, area of triangles formulas, you also needed to understand uh, the different uh, concepts underlying circles. So, please make sure that you cover all topics in geometry and you solve questions from all parts of geometry because most questions that will come from geometry will involve an interlinking of topics as such. So, please keep solving. Please go to our study room because there are a lot of questions there specifically focused on geometry and they will give you an adequate uh, exposure to the difficult level questions that come from this topic. So, please keep solving. Thank you for tuning in.